Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to test your door contactor switch. Right, these are brown in color. You're probably more used to the white. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to test whether it's working or not. Maybe the zone is not showing you when it's opened or closed, and you're wondering if it's the cable or is it the door switch. Right, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open this. Usually you can just open this with your fingers. If you're finding you can't open this with your fingers, just insert this flat screwdriver there and there and peel it open. Now over there you'll see two screws. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So what we need to do is we just need to take a multimeter and put one lead there, one lead there and, and measure the continuity between these two terminals. Right, here's my multimeter and when I short the leads together you can hear the continuity buzzer. That is telling me it's a short circuit. All I need to do is put the one lead on the one screw and the other lead on the other contact. Now having a look from the meter and listening to the buzzer, you can tell that that is a short circuit. I'm now going to open the door to see if that switch opens. Right, I'm now going to open the door. And you can see that as I start opening the door and the magnet moves away from the read relay, you can see that the meter is now reading a voltage because it is now an open circuit and you're now measuring the voltage of your output of your zone. That is also telling me that the wire is not faulty because I'm measuring a voltage there. If that is within the range of the correct voltage for your panel, you know that the wire is fine. You would need to find out the voltage for the zone to determine that. Right, now when I close the door, it should go to short circuit. Right, there you can hear the meter telling me it's a short circuit. So that means that this magnet and this read relay are working fine. What you will also notice is there is a series resistor here on this one lead. It's a good idea to quickly measure that to make sure it is still the resistance as shown on the body. In this case it is orange, orange, red, gold, so that is 3300 ohms. In order to test the resistance of this resistor, I will use a multimeter set to ohms. Now, you do not necessarily have to remove the resistor. If you open the door, and when this becomes an open circuit, I'll put the one lead on the one leg and the other lead on the terminal. You can see there, 3.3 kilo ohms. Therefore, the resistor is measuring correctly. Right, so in summary, here is the read relay and there are the contacts. When I touch the contact, you can see the meter saying zero and you can hear the continuity buzzer. Right, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you the difference between a faulty read relay, door contact switch and a working contact switch. Now, as you can see, the magnet is far away and if I touch the two terminals, look at the meter and listen for the sound. Nothing. And as I bring the magnet close, it activates the read relay, the contacts touch, and as you can see, the meter is now showing me closed circuit. Watch what happens when I move the magnet away. Right, now look at this one. It's already showing me a short circuit, and there's no magnet anywhere near it. So in this case, the contacts inside this glass window are definitely fused together in some way and are probably damaged. Alright, thanks for watching and cheers.